Okay, a uh, very quick look at the portal list concepts. Now, what you're looking at is, is actually a sequence diagram, and this is a sequence diagram of a submission. Now, there is a difference in the way servlets behave and in the way portlets behave when a submission takes place. Uh, um, so, I'd like you to pay close attention to this. So, we have an example. We have an example of three portlets. Uh, portlet A, B, and C on a portal page. So what happens? Somebody presses or submits a form in let's say portlet A. So you have a portal page. There is a portlet A which probably has a form. There is a portlet B and there is a portlet B. So somebody pushes a button or does an action on portlet A. Uh, in, in portlet specification it is called process action. So the client request comes in portal portlet container as I said they can be treated together so the portal of the portlet container intercepts the client request it in turn in turn calls process action on portlet A now if you compare this with the servlet process action is the same as do post so just as a button submission will call a do post in a servlet it calls a process action on portlet A so Portlet A does the processing, it returns control to the portlet container and portal. Now if you notice a fresh request goes to all the portlets. So portlet A gets a render request. Again comparing with servlets, servlets have do get and portlets have a render. So what the portlet and portal is trying to do is okay, it asks portlet A to process the button submission having got the response back it now asks all the portlets portlet A, B and C to render their content fresh. So it generates a fresh request and asks all of them to give their fragments back. Now this is an important uh, concept. The reason why this is done is you know, consider the example of a travel portal I, I just mentioned. So for example I have a portal A which is a search box. You know, I have it, I, it has a drop down, let's say, for a country, so I choose India, and has a drop down for city, and I choose uh, Delhi, and then hypothetically assume I have a submit button. So I press the submit button. So what happens? In portlet A, it does some processing. Now portlet B is assuming a weather portlet that needs to show information or weather according to what city was chosen in portlet A. Portlet C is maybe you know a Wikipedia page that shows information about the city, whatever city was chosen in Portlet. So the point here is once an action is done in Portlet A, we, the portal has to allow or give Portlet B and C a chance to refresh themselves to send fresh response back as a result of what happened in Portlet A. So if Portlet A says okay. I am accepting Delhi as a parameter. Then portal says, okay, portal B, portlet A got Delhi, what do you have to do? Give me your markup. So portlet B processes Delhi and sends back the response, which is probably the weather information for Delhi. And then it asks portlet C, okay, portlet C, portal, portlet A accepted Delhi, what do you have to do? Do you have something to give to me? And portlet C gives back the markup for let's say Wikipedia information for the city that was selected in portlet A. So again, this is since a portal page is an aggregation of different portlets. Even if you are interacting with one portlet, you are submitting form in one portlet, it will refresh the entire page. The portal will refresh the entire page, rebuild the entire page and send you back the response. Now the other key point to note here is uh, if you are submitting a form in a sublet, this is one request. So it goes in, do post, and comes back. However, if you notice in a portlet, there are two requests. If you notice, there are two blue rectangles. There's one on top and there's one on bottom. There is one an action request. As you can see the comment, this is one an action request in which only portlet A processes, and the other fresh request that the portal originates is the render request. 
which is serviced by all the portlets. So the post in a portal, the get HTTP post in a portal actually leads to two different requests on the server side. Whereas an HTTP post in a servlet only has a single request. So that is the main difference between servlets and portlets. All right, so let's take a look at the post development demo. Uh, 